will be in Feldland. Then all we need to do is head north to reach Quincy. I guess it's gonna be a while before I see you greet us again. What's with that look, Meryl? You look so sad. No, I'm... I'm okay. You feel sad because you're leaving home? Yes, I've been in Eucretus my whole life. And there's so many good memories of it. It's not like we can't ever come back. We'll only be gone for a while. What's wrong, Master? You're staring into space. Uh, nothing. Uh, I was just thinking of my daughter, Mariel. I wonder if she felt the same about leaving Eucretus. Oh, yeah. I remember you mentioning her before. She's in Eranor now, right? Well, that's right. She needed more in life than just staying at my side, so she became a knight of Eranor and a member of the Holy Guard. Among all those men? Being a member of the Holy Guard, isn't that something? I raised and trained her myself, so it comes as no surprise. She has informed me she has succeeded the late Captain of the Holy Guard, and is now a force. Really? You never mentioned that before. Of course not. I only received a letter from her just recently, on the airship that took you back to Greensleeves. Okay, so after this letter is delivered to Quincy, we're headed for Eranor, which means we get to see Mariel, right? I'm sure she's looking forward to seeing you too. I've written about you in my letters to Mariel. Huh? What exactly have you told her about me? About how terrible a student you are! <laughs> hey, that's not very nice! <laughs> All right, listen up, you two. We're going through Feldland, a snow country in every sense of the word. Watch your step in the snow and be careful not to fall. One more thing. You may encounter new races. Make sure to behave appropriately with due courtesy. Understood? Gotcha. I'm not too sure about the courtesy part, but I'll definitely try not to trip and fall in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> 